Hey there, I decided to do another video of the random names from babynamespedia.com just because I thought they were fun and it's getting late so I wanted to make a video but I didn't want to take forever researching so um, here's a quick one. So the first name I'm going to do boys first and the first one I came across is Manape which is kind of a funky name. I guess it could be worse, I don't know. Um, let's see. It's a Native American name, and it means a walking wonder, and I have an ad loading in front of my page. Go away. Okay. Manape means a walking wonder. That's kind of a cool meaning. So I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce this. Manipi, Manipi. I don't know. It's not really my style, but it's kind of interesting. The next name is Nabil. Hmm. Sounds kind of like Egyptian or something to me. It's an Arabic name, and it means noble. It's kind of a cool name. Um, there's some alternate spellings that are a little, like, nicer looking, I think. Spelled with just B-I-L instead of the E in there. That's kind of nice. I guess it's a variation of the English name Neville, which is kind of interesting. Let's see. Let's do another one. Okay, the next name is a Turkish name, and it's Galap which means a victorious man. That's kind of cool. I don't really like the sound of it though. Um, I don't know. The next name is an Old Norse name and it means Thor's Rock which is a really cool meaning and it is Halder. It's kind of a cool name. I kind of like it. Um, they have another spelling listed with an O instead of the I and I kind of like that better. Um, Halder. That's kind of cool sounding. I could see that being a pretty nice name, especially with the O spelling. Okay, the last random name for the boys is Quiller, and I think this is a really cool name. Um, it's a derivative of Quiller spelt with an E, which again, I like the traditional spelling with the E a little better. And it is an English name, and it means scribe, which makes sense. Quiller, like a pen, like writing with your pen, with your quill. It's kind of a cool name. So now we'll do some girls' names. So the first girl's name is Jekyllia, and um, if you didn't know this, I really love names that end with I-A-H most of the time, and they're, most of them are Hebrew names, so is this one, and I haven't heard this one before, so uh, it means God makes Abel, and I think it's pretty. I It reminds me of the boy's name Jeremiah, which is my one of my favorite boy's names, So, um, although it does kind of sound like Jekyll, Jekyllia. So I'm not sure how I like that, but in theory it's pretty, um, and I do, the, the traditional spelling is with just a C and not a CH, which I like better. This is a cool one, the next one is Yenny, and it kind of reminds me of Jenny, only with a Y, so I'm not sure if I like it based on that, but it's a Vietnamese name and it means peace, and I think it would be um, usable, it would be really easy for people to pronounce and tell what it's supposed to be, and I think Yen is kind of a cute nickname, like, I don't know, it reminds me of Zen, I kind of like it. Yenny wouldn't be a name I would use, but I do think it's really cute and kind of cool and usable. Okay, the next one is Tamana, which is a Sanskrit name meaning wish. I love that meaning, that's really cute. Um, and it has another spelling, T-A-M-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. But I almost like this spelling better for some reason. I like things that end with the H, so that might be why. I think that's a cute name. It's not really my style, but it is cute, Tamana. Or you could, for a nickname, maybe Tammy or something. Okay, the next name is Kayanara. And I don't really know where that uh comes in there, but that's what the pronunciation says. Kayanara. Um... So for me, it doesn't seem like it's quite spelled the way it's supposed to be pronounced, but I think it's a cute sounding name, Kayanara. It kind of reminds me of Sayonara, like in Japanese, goodbye. Um, they have a couple variations. I kind of like the one that starts with a Z, which is Zinara. So it's a cute name. It doesn't really give a meaning. It says it's Old Greek. I think it's pretty cute. Okay, the last girl's name is Imari, and it says it's a variation of Amari spelt with an I at the end. I think it's a cute name. Um, let's see if I can find a meaning for it. It doesn't have a meaning listed. It says Amari is also used as a boy's name sometimes, and it's of English-American origin. 
So I don't really know what the name Amari means, but it's kind of pretty sounding, and I think it is usable today. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.